I was diagnosed early 2007. Um, I really didn't know a lot about HIV. But... I thought, well, you know, it's something I could do to help, you know, further advance, you know, treatment for HIV. People think that HIV and AIDS is easier to manage than it really is. Yes, there are some simple kind, uh, simple regimens, some of them as simple as one pill a day, but a lot of us are on much more complicated regimens. I take three, four pills a day to manage my HIV, and another five or six pills to manage the side effects of those regimens. So, in all, I'm taking 12 pills a day. A therapeutic vaccine offers the opportunity to uh, help patients who are now infected with HIV and who have not had a good recovery of their immune system from the HIV medications. So we need the next generation of treatments, and I think a therapeutic vaccine uh, really could be the next platform. I even think that a therapeutic vaccine might ultimately lead to a prevention vaccine. While I was on the clinical trial, I was off my medications for 18 months, and I was actually the last person to go back on them. You know, I could live the life I lived before when I didn't take meds and have to worry about pills and filling prescriptions and, you know, so I felt I had more freedom and I had one less, less thing to think about. New techniques that actually uh, biotechnology has afforded us in uh, the way it can computerize what the shape of certain HIV proteins might be. We can then design vaccines to target uh, the virus in that way. With healthcare reform and the national AIDS strategy now, which are all new to new tools and we're really grateful to have them, we're still trying to figure out how do we manage the cost of treating everybody as we have fewer and fewer dollars to work with, yet more and more and more people uh, be becoming infected and living well with HIV and AIDS. So treating them is, is going up indiscriminately while the the, the, the money available is going down. We, these are difficult economic times. It's cheaper to treat people early and keep them healthy than it is to treat people later when they are sick. It's a disease that is still very expensive to treat, a disease that um, the treatments still have a lot of uh, side effects. And our, our goal at this point has to be turned towards finding a cure for HIV, and biotechnology does hold the promise of the cure. We can't be satisfied with the progress we made. Yes, we've done well. It's not good enough until there are more treatments. It's not good enough until there's a cure. There will be a cure one day. It'll change a lot of people's lives, you know. Um, some people will probably go from being in the depths of depression to living again.